Hello everybody, I hope you are doing well and welcome back to another weekly walkthrough. This week we will be looking at 45 Hay Lane in Barrie. It's technically been on the market already for nine days, uh, but they've obviously just reduced the price, probably, uh, and brought it back on fresh. We'll look at that when we get to it. It's an interior townhouse listed at 650. Uh, and it's in the south east ish end of Barry uh, in in a shore. But before we get into it, if you could head down below and hit that subscribe button as well as a notification bell to stay up to date with all of our content. And if you could hit that like button as well, it would be appreciated. So, 45 Hay Lane. Let's see. They don't have the map picture. Tragic. Let's just do this then. Oh my word, I know my numbers. Boop. 45 Hay Lane, you're right there, which in the grand scheme of Barry, south, east ish, <laughs> as promised. You're very close to uh, Maple View. You are a bit of a distance. You're getting to be a bit of a distance from the highway at that point, um, as you can see here. So your trek, if you don't have to be hitting the 400 all too frequently, it's not a bad spot. Um, but if you need to hit the 400, I guess you are on Maple View. You know, you, you might be okay. Disregard. This spot, pretty okay. It's when you get farther east even still, or into Tollendale kind of situation. But this far on Maple View Drive, shouldn't be too, too bad. Anyway, back to the property at hand. We are just under 1,100 square feet. Cool thing about this is it is a three-story, technically speaking. Um, it does not have a basement. The basement is built on grade or, you know, well, no, I guess it's got enough space. You could call it a basement. Um, so your three floors stacked high. Uh, if I didn't know any better, <laughs> I would say that this was a Ferris listing because they absolutely love their five reasons why you will love this house. Um, but it's not. It's listed by uh, Realty Wealth Group, Inc. So contact them if you want. Does not matter. But so we got two bedrooms, only one bath, which is interesting it's probably seen as a bit of a downside especially because it's on the third floor most of your living is on the second floor um but you are having to go upstairs anytime you want to use the washroom and kitchen is on the second floor so new buildings crazy um the garage doors look swanky not my cup of tea personally but whatever uh so the cool thing about it is the garage looks like it sticks out a decent amount which means that you're not losing a ton of house to the garage um front door looks nice nice little i think that's just a post between the two but the fact that your doors aren't side by side kind of nice hopefully they got their package uh inside like i said brand new um this is as soon as you walk in this leads to the utility and then there's a door on this other side yep this would be to your garage so one of the downsides to this particular model is you are going up the stairs with literally everything you have all the time unless it's going into the utility room um, but groceries upstairs, it, it, you got a couch, you're not bringing it in on the main floor. <laughs> you're going up the flight. However, being that being said, main floor is pretty cool. I think the, the building as a whole is pretty cool. Um, again, it's all new and see all the stickers on everything. Uh, bar stool there. I don't know who that's for, but. Eh. Uh, but it's bright it's nice kitchen is 
a decent size. Looking around. So you've got... Okay. So we're up here. Desk is behind us to the right. Right there. Okay. Nice little opening there. And then you've got a walkout to currently nothing, but you could... I don't want to say for sure because I don't know, uh, but very probably put a deck on the back. One thing to keep in mind is there is still construction going on. So it's going to... Your outside is not going to be pristine for a bit. This is more of the main floor. This is on the far side. Yes, celebrate the main floor. <laughs> um, it's kind of neat that it steps down. Gives you a little bit more height. Either that or that part right there is just lifted for some reason. Oh, for some reason. It's, <laughs> it's the stair, you idiot. <sighs> so yeah this is looking back so desk is on the other side of this wall here it's a decent size it's not huge but it's you know like i said in a 1100 square foot townhouse which they wouldn't have counted the basement so you're 550 square feet per floor which isn't bad. It's good. It's bright. This is upstairs. Your <clears throat> bathroom. Bedroom. Other bedroom. No. Same bedroom. Yes. Still the same bedroom. There's the bathroom. bathroom other bedroom okay I have one okay stackable laundry in the closet that's nice uh, utility furnace being central to the unit is very nice helps with heat distribution so you shouldn't have any issues with that you've got another walkout in the basement pretty sweet I don't know if you could really do anything down here though um which is unfortunate while it's nice to have the furnace central for heat distribution I like I guess just storage for I don't know like your lawnmower and stuff if you want to because I based on the space I don't know what you would do like, this couldn't be living area. Like, it's just too small with the space provided. And, like, the walkout almost feels like a bit of a waste. And then you've got your garage that could... I could probably walk straight down it without having to turn. Um, but you're fitting a car in there, and that's about it. It is long, I guess, so you can, you know, keep stuff stored at, at one end. But you're not getting much past it. There's probably a door um, right about where the camera is, kind of like right down here against the wall, and that would lead back inside. So what I was confused about up here, so first off, bedroom, or the second bedroom, very, very small. It's a guest bedroom at most. Um, honestly, more like throw a day bed in there and take your naps. Um, but I just need to see because the bathroom looks like it is inside this bedroom, which then means that access to that bathroom is only available in this bedroom unless there's a second door that I can't see. Maybe there is a second door. You know what? 
there's probably a door here and then it might be a stretch but i feel like that's another like end of a door so i feel like you probably have two entrances because they they wouldn't make it so that the only entrance is is through the bathroom or is through the the master and that's your laundry closet right there no it can't be your laundry closet it has to be your bathroom closet so where's your laundry Where's it all fitting? Hmm. Closet. Door. There has to be, there is at least one door in the bathroom. But. <sighs> like, there's that door. And then the space, like this here, this this bump out here, that's your laundry stack, probably. Unless there's an entrance via the other bedroom? Like, just around that corner? Like, kind of hidden by this guy? I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I'm a little stumped on this one, guys. Um, if the only entrance to that bathroom is in the master, that is horrendous. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, guys, come on over. Just use the washroom before you come because uh, you're not getting to it. All in all, though, like I said, it's been on the market for nine days previously. Was five... Wow. Okay. So it was 549. I can almost guarantee you. Yeah. Offer presentation. Um, they clearly didn't get what they wanted. So now they're back up with a more realistic number. Probably, um, the same agent sold a very similar unit, slightly smaller. Um, and a bit of a different layout, but for 640, I think it was. So I don't think 650 is too far off the mark. But yeah, brand new, like I said, 2023. Got brick and vinyl, asphalt singles. Uh, if it was built in 2023, you'd likely have fun with uh, the Tarion new home warranty i believe i don't know if it applies to townhouses to be honest um but yeah overall i think it's a half decent property um as i find with a lot of these when i originally look through them it's like oh wow this looks cool i want to show everyone and then you get into like the weird bit with the way the photos are lined up and the doors and it's like okay but how does this fit in here and how does this fit in here uh so <laughs> Just goes to show that uh, even the realtors need to get into a house to really know for sure what uh, what it's like. So once again, that was 45 Hay Lane listed by Realty Wealth Group Inc. Brokerage. If you want more information, give us a call. Give them a call. Give your brother's, sister's, cousin a call. I don't care. I'm not here to solicit from anyone because that's too much work and I don't want to deal with it. So hope you guys enjoyed the property. If you want to know anything more about specifically this property, or maybe you want to find out more about the Tarion new home warranty that I mentioned, because that's kind of cool in itself, I think. Um, just let me know. But before I head out, if you could head down below and hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our content. And if you could hit that like button, that would just be swell. Um, I'm going to head out. Stay dry, guys. Uh, enjoy your weekend, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.